Hey everybody, this is Mr. MathBlog. This uh, lesson is Model Fraction Divisions. This is uh, Lesson 2.5 and don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Let's uh, go to that site real quick. Whoops, I thought I had it up right there. Here it is right there. And if we go to that, you guys, there's two sixth grade math sex, uh, sessions here. Um, I teach out in California, you guys, so this is our California link, but that's not this lesson. Your lesson is going to be in this one here. So so here's all the California stuff, and California's a little bit weird. The rest of the nation is right here, so you'll find this lesson right down here. So, so this lesson goes with uh, sixth grade math right there, and then... Uh, anyways, you guys, I hope that makes sense. And so, so here's our common course strand for our teachers. And our question here is, uh, how can we use a model to show the division of fractions? So we're going to use fraction strips here. And in this lesson, there's two types of division problems. The first type is finding how many or how much are in each group. And the second type is uh, finding how many groups there are. All right, so let's uh, answer both of those right here. So. So a class is working on a community project of a clear path near a campground. So here's a picture of a campground right here with all the campsites in it right here. And they're working in teams on sections of the path right here. So here's the first question. Four students clear a section that is two-thirds of a mile long. If each student uh, clears an equal part, what fraction of the mile will each clear? Okay, so remember, this is dividing by fractions, or dividing fractions anyways. So here, um, uh, four students are working on two-thirds of a mile long. So all of them are uh, working the same amount. So we're going to take two-thirds and divide it by four. So let's use uh, fraction strips uh, to help us model this problem right there. Okay, so here's one hole right here. Here's one third of it. Here's another third of it. So here's two thirds right here. And so we're going to take this two thirds and we're going to divide this by four. So we're going to look at our fraction strips and find four strips that'll fit in that nice and equally right there. Okay, so what are we trying to find? All right, we're, we're looking for groups of four equal parts. Uh, of the two-thirds or two-thirds divided by four. Okay, so here's our fraction strips right here, okay? So we're looking right here. Here's one-third, two-thirds. So we're looking at these two fraction strips and we're looking for what fraction strips underneath here will give us four equal parts right here? Well, it looks like these guys right here. Can you see? There's four of these guys and it fits right under that two-thirds right there, okay? So uh, we're going to go ahead and slip that underneath there. So there, um, there are uh, four one-sixth pieces right there. So then that means um, uh, two-thirds of that mile divided by the four equal pieces. Then each of them is going to work on one-sixth of, uh, of a mile. So each student will clear one-sixth of a mile of that campground path right there. Okay, here's another problem. Another team of students clears a section of the path that's three-fourths of a mile long. Okay, so if each student clears one-eighth of a mile, how many students are on the team? Okay, so here we're going to do three-fourths and divide that by one-eighth, okay? All right, so uh, we're going to use the fraction strips here, and so what are we trying to find? Well, we're trying to find um, uh, how many groups of one-eighth there are in three-fourths. So we're looking for 3 fourths divided by 1 eighth. Okay, let's go to our fraction strip right here. Okay, so here's 3 fourths right here, okay? And we're looking for the 1 eighth column right here, which is right here. So here's the 1 eighth column. How many of these 1 eighths are there in this 3 fourths right there? Okay, so we're looking for that relationship right there. Okay, so so um, here's 3 fourths right here, and here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's 6 1 eighths in 3 fourths, so that means there's going to be 6 uh, students on each team right there, okay? So explain how the model in A shows a related multiplication fact. Okay, so that's going to lead us into the lessons after this lesson. So we had 2 thirds divided by 4, and that gave us 1 sixth. Okay, this is related to two-thirds times one-fourth, and one-fourth is the reciprocal of four over one. Two times one equals twelve, three times four equals, I'm sorry, two times one equals two, three times four equals twelve. So two-thirds times the reciprocal one-fourth gives us two-twelfths, which reduces to one-sixth. So when we divide by a whole number, it's going to be the same as the product of its reciprocal, okay? And that's what's going to lead us into tomorrow's lesson, I believe. 
So suppose a whole number is divided by a fraction between 0 and 1. So we divided, um, uh, before we divided a, uh, a fraction divided by another fraction. So is that quotient going to be greater than or less than the div dividend? So explain and give an example. Okay, so the example I'm going to use is this fraction divided by a number that's between 0 and 1. But this can be a whole number also. So any number that's divided by a fraction between 0 and 1, can you see that 1 8 is between 0 and 1 uh, gives us a number that's bigger than what we were uh, dividing by so it gives us a it's going to be greater than the dividend right here so so here we had um, uh, our dividend here divided by our divisor right here and our quotient right here our quotient is going to be bigger than the dividend right there okay so as long as it's uh, smaller than than one so uh, we can draw a model to help us solve fraction and division problems right here so sander is making a recipe that calls for a three-fourths cup of beans okay my wife is sander she made some bean salad the other day it was delicious so suppose she only has a one-half cup size of a measuring scoop. So how many one-half cup scoops of beans does she need uh, to fulfill this three-fourths of a cup right here? Okay, so we're going to take that three-fourths and divide it by a half right there. So we'll draw a model uh, that represents the total amount of beans right there. Okay. So there's uh, one hole right there, so there's three-fourths right there. Now we'll draw fraction parts that represents the scoops of beans. Well, the scoops of beans, is um, uh, they only come in half scoops right here. All right, so here's our fraction strips right here. So let me go backwards here. So we have three-fourths right there, okay? So here's three-fourths right there, and we're going to divide it by half scoops right there. Well, look at these half scoops. They're bigger than the three-fourths right there, okay? All right, so there's our half scoops right there. So there is, uh, how many full uh, groups of one-halves are there in this three-fourths right here? Here's three-fourths. There's one full group of, um, of the halves in there in this three-fourths. Okay, here's three-fourths. This three-fourths has this one full group of a half right there. And then check it out. It has a half of this half right here. So there's one full group of a half and then a half of the group of the half right there. Okay, so when we add these together, there's one and a half scoops of these three-fourths uh, cups of beans right there. Okay, so there are one and a half groups of one-half and three-fourths right there. Okay, so three-fourths divided by one-half is one and a half, so Sandra will need uh, one and a half scoops of beans right there. Okay, what if Sandra's recipe calls for one quarter cup of beans? How many half cup scoops of beans does she need? Okay, so here's her one quarter cup right there, and her, her scoop only um, uh, comes in one half right there. So how many uh, one half uh, cups right here will, will this uh, one quarter cup fill right there? Can you see that this is only gonna be one half of that right there? So one fourth divided by one half is a half. So Sandra will need one half of the half cup of scoops to if she has a, if her recipe only calls for a quarter cup of soups. Okay, so here's our bean salad that she made the other day. It was yummy. All right, you guys, take care.